Hello everyone. Welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I am going to break down this animation. I am going to explain you guys all the techniques that I have used to get this final result. So let's start. So this is the final composition window of the animation and rendered as the final animation. So inside this composition, there is the main window. Let's go inside it. So this is the first scene of the animation. The scene is composed in this particular manner. Now all of these elements are in a different compositions. Okay, so let's get inside the boxer rig and let's check out how I have animated the boxer. So this is the boxer and I have rigged the whole body of the boxer with the help of Quick Bezier plugin. You can see that there is Dwig controllers over here. Now for the arms, I have rigged the arms with the help of Dwig Bezier, but I have simply added rotation and position keyframe on the body. We haven't used any plugin for the body rigging. So the whole body is parented with everything, including the controller. The chest is in a different layer. So I have added some rotation over here to add some fluidity in the animation and even in the neck as well and also in the head layer as well. And after that, after adding all the all the keyframes in the rotation property, mainly I have added keyframes in the rotation property. I have just added keyframes in the position property for the arms and for the body. So after adding all the keyframes i have offset it all the keyframes by one or two frames you can see to add some follow through in the animation okay so if you want to learn more about how to rig with the help of twig bezier plugin do check out my this lesson you will get the link in the description or you can Get the link on the i button on the top right corner as well go check them out you can get to know get to know in full details how to rig a character with the help of twig basil so to animate the head of this character i have rigged the whole face of the character with the help of twig basil itself with the help of twig connectors again if you want to learn in full details about how to rig the face of a character do check out my this lesson I have explained you in full details how to rig the face of a character with the help of Dwig Bezier with Dwig connectors. So you will again get the link in the description or you can check out on the i button on the top right corner. So over here I have rigged the whole face with the help of Dwig Bezier and let's open the layers with keyframes. So you can see that I have simply added keyframe on the position of the slider. So this slider is for the face position. This slider is for the mouth. And this slider is for the eyes. And this is for the rotation of the eyebrows. You can see. All right, so like this, I have animated the face. It is just a loop animation. But other than that, I have animated the face of both the characters like this way. And let's check out how I have animated the hairs. For the hair animation, I have an added three pins in each of these hair layers. And I have converted the hair into bones. And then I have added rotation and then added some offset to it. So you can figure out the amount of offset with the with these keyframes. So like this, I have I have got this particular animation of the hair. Now, if you want to learn the technique, I have used the technique in this particular animation on the foot animation. I have shown you guys how to uh, how to use bone tools to do this kind of animation. So go check that out. So for the arms, I have used rubber hose to plug in to animate the arms. So when you add a new hose with the help of rubber hose too, if you change the style of the hose to this one underscore tapered hose, 
you can after selecting the hose you will get these two options one is width stroke width and one is tapered percentage and if you vary this you can get something like this a varied taperedness of the stroke and with the help of this i have made an illusion of a 3d movement with the with 2d layers so like this even after this movement i have added some keyframes on the scale of the wrist you can see i have just shrinked the wrist at this particular position and then again when it is getting back i have just increased the scale so like this i have uh, i have just animated the 3d movement with the 2d layers now if you want to learn more about this particular technique then do check out my this particular tutorial on work cycle in front view i have used the same technique in animating the legs so go check it out you can get the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner so let's understand this punch animation so for this shock wave animation on the face so this particular chick animation as you can see this is the shock waves so i have added wave wrap effect on uh, over here so i have kept the height 4 and the speed 50 also i have added some keyframes over here the shock wave is starting from the point where it is getting punched at this particular point after this point the shock wave is starting so like this i have animated this particular shock wave animation now at this particular point i have also added time remapping and slowed down the animation you can see i have extended it a lot so there the shock waves were a lot faster but over here the shock wave is a, a bit slower and lastly for this audience animation i have simply used rubber hose to plug in so for the limbs i have used the rubber hose and for body and the head animation i have simply added rotation keyframes and offsetted it and added slight squash and stretch to the body as well so that is it for this lesson hope you liked it and learned a lot from it so if you liked it then make sure to hit the like button if you have any doubt regarding the lesson make sure to comment down below i will be happy to help you out and if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates until then goodbye